evening, everybody. What a treat we have for you tonight. FIBA quarterfinals action coming your way. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. And Brent, it'll be the United States facing off against the up-and-coming Team Philippines. The Philippines on the international stage have not had too much success, but they have some interesting pieces and a little dash of potential. Certainly a team to watch. And Greg, it's winner go home now here on the quarterfinals. There is no room for error. And we should see the game pick up in terms of intensity and physicality. The U.S. might be the favorites here, but anything can happen in a winner go home situation. You know, Brent, I'm looking here, with the FIBA game being several minutes shorter than the NBA game, players can really go full tilt with their energy, can't they? Yeah, it feels like you can really make some impact in that first half, really send messages early on. You don't have to leave as much in the tank. So we tend to see more chase down blocks and scrambling and sprinting early on in contests. It's really fun to watch. Now, here's Nick. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. MP's got five. And though some people out there, Brent, still aren't that familiar with FIBA, it's actually been around for many decades. Well, I had to look this stuff up, but established in 1932 with only eight teams total. Now you have over 200 national teams that are competing. It's become a worldwide phenomenon, both the International Basketball Federation and, of course, basketball itself. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. The Philippines shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the strike in this one. First free throw is good. And USA making a change here. Booker's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Now here's Brunson. Here's Nash. And he drops it in from the low post. He's got seven. The national team of the Philippines, Brent, has a lot of energy and desire to become a larger force in the international basketball world. The Philippines have done a nice job bringing in coaches with championship experience. That's a great start. And they've innovated a bit with some tight rotations of their dynamic players. If they can continue to develop their pool of players, there'll be some success on the horizon. Here's MP. Philippines getting their last shot to go. Pass to Brunson. Back to MP. Here's Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's the three fly. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, dominant so far. That's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. You know, Greg, when you talk about passion for the game of basketball, the Philippines is up there with any country in the world. Oh, no doubt. Basketball is life in the Philippines. Oh, oh hammering it in! And I got to say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm. but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Yes, that goes in. Nash has got nine. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played hard. We know who that was. Stephen Curry has checked in for USA. USA. Nash comes in for Jalen Brunson. And the Philippines making a change here. Well, the Philippines don't have a lot of NBA talent on their roster, but Greg, they have a number of pros across Asian League. And, and a lot of them will apply their trade in Japan and Australia with big success. Definitely not short on seasoned players. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. 
Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. And here's MP for three. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. MP stretching out the defense. Outside, Gonzalez. Pass to Pacquiao. Misses the three. USA leading by 13. Here's Booker. Booker taking the hit. Finishes like that are pretty impressive from Devin Booker, who we know is a great outside shooter. And here's Gonzalez. Hasn't made one yet. Here's Pacquiao. Three-pointer on the way. And the rebound goes to Nash. To the inside. And taking the bucket on the assist by MP. Nash has got three assists in the game. Pass to Dawi Zai. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Pacquiao. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And so MP will bring it up for USA. Tatum. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. USA leading by 19 points. Booker finds MP. USA moving the ball around. Kept alive. 151 left in the first half. Can't hit from 12. And here's the Philippines now. Pass to Pacquiao. They set the pick. And once again off the mark by the Philippines. Booker outside. There's the triple. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists tonight. Each trip down becoming more important. And you need to string some successful offensive possessions together and play tough D. Here's Gonzalez. It's hauled in by USA. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Outside, Gonzalez. Here's to Guzman. And it's sent back by Carter. Curry passes to Nash. And the layup falls. Nash has got 14 points for the game. Despite his youth, MP showing grown man strength. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Right wing. 19 seconds left in the first half of basketball. And it's Pacquiao missing. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Gonzalez, that's good. And it's USA riding high with a 23-point lead heading into the break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we'll be back with you shortly. 24. Welcome back, everyone, for what's sure to be an exciting second half of FIBA quarterfinals basketball. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Yeah, the passing he brings to the table on full display through the first two quarters. 
doing a great job of just setting guys up and demonstrating just how important ball movement can be. So no Welcome everyone to our presentation of the FIBA semifinals. Get ready for some top tier international basketball. Alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. Tonight, the United States takes on the Boomers, the Australian national team. The Boomers, known for their physicality, this team plays really hard. And the goal here for Australia is just to make things uncomfortable for the Americans. Maybe a shot at the end. And Greg, here in the semifinals, these teams know just how close they are to playing for the championship. And they both had incredible tournaments thus far. The U.S. came in as heavy favorites, but this late in the knockout rounds, anything can happen. One. USA trails by 12. The three from MP. It's rebounded by Giddy. Giddy's got six rebounds now in the game. Outside, Simmons. Out to Taylor. Jacks up a three. Carter pulls it in. And when it comes to international play, Greg, you hear a lot from NBA players about how different it is. And it's not just about the rules. It's a much more physical game. Officials aren't as quick to blow the whistle when things get rough inside. Pass to Simmons. It's hauled in by USA. Carter's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. MP outside. MP finishes inside. Despite his youth, MP showing grown man strength. And for USA, they come in off a good outing against the Philippines. And the foul called on MP. That'll be his second foul of the game. And USA making a change here. Sensabar is checked in. Giddy against Curry. Giddy with it. He's got six. Simmons, a screen on Kirk. Shot clock at five. Here's Giddy. It's hauled in by USA. And Greg, the Australian team is nicknamed the Boomers, which, interestingly enough, is slang for male kangaroo. That tracks. They certainly have the hops. Some great athletes on this team, as evidenced by how many of them reach the NBA. They're the FIBA opponent that everyone's a little leery of. And here is Green. Following the three-pointer by MP. Here's Taylor. And they come right back with their own three-pointers. And Australia leads by eight. So it's USA now. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. MP outside. Another three for USA. Coming right back, MP with a huge three. Australia leading by five. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And Giddy gets it to go. And Australia winning bronze at the 2020 Games in Tokyo. Well, we know that was a historic medal. The first medal for Australia, also the first country outside of Europe and the Americas to win a medal at the games. That Australian team beating Luka Doncic and Slovenia in the third place matchup. Now Taylor following the three-point attempt by MP. No one near him. It's hauled in by Sensabaugh. USA trails by seven. James finds MP. Oh, MP's came with it through the contact. So good to see MP attacking with reckless abandon, just letting his game flow. Taylor passes to Simmons. Back to Taylor. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. 
Taylor's got five points in the quarter. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. The Australian team has been a fixture in international play, Brent, for a long time, and they've had their share of success. Just not a shock here. We've seen a wave of talent come from Australia into the NBA, and not just in recent years, but for a few decades now. And Giddy, just that sixth sense to find the open man. So it's USA now, six-point game, and James gets it to go. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Taylor passes to Giddy. Oh, Giddy in position. Now USA with it. Here's LeBron. Merciless inside. Merciless. James! A monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. Pass to Furphy. Great D that time from LeBron. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Carter finds MP. And here is James. A three from MP. It's rebounded by Giddy. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Australia on top. They lead by four. I'm going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. The second half of this FIBA semifinal matchup just getting underway. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. This is going that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Pretty much no one's going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Giddy, he dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. And Giddy, one of those guys who really can't stuff the stat sheet. Tatum finds MP. USA moving the ball around. For the tie. The tray. That's good, and that's Embiid with the assist. Nash has got it all tied up now for USA. They get a hand on it. For the lead. Close in, no stopping MP. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see in a game this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. This is why Tatum is a volume three-point shooter, because he knows how accurate he can be. Nash against Giddy. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, he settled settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Giddy against Nash. Oh, here's Giddy. Defense right on him. It's hauled in by USA. The three from MP. MP finishes the break in style. And that's how you execute in the open floor. Great job by MP to get to his spot. Pass to Green. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Back to Giddy. They kick it out to Green. Shot clock at six. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. 
Ben Simmons, he's checked in for Australia. Substitution for Australia. Number nine, Ben Simmons. Outside, Green. Pass to Daniel. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Daniels has got nine. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. MP outside. Another three for USA. And how about MP responding in kind to that triple? 151 left in the third. And stolen by James. To the middle. He's looking for MP and finds him. Hits the jump hook. MP's got the lead up to nine now for USA. And this is the thing about MP. He has the poise to take high percentage shots. And Simmons kicks to Daniels. Back to Simmons. Pocket six. And hard to decide which is better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. And here's MP for three. Connects from three. Point range. Nash has got 31. The MP is a cool customer from three. Great form from the up-and-coming player. 50 seconds left to play in the third. Pass to Furphy. This one for three. It's hauled in by USA. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now, here's Nash. No one near James as he lets it go. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got assist number seven for him tonight. Simmons looking around. It's rebounded by Brunson. And a deep three from MP. What a shot! Oh, yes. Amazing! That's a Unreal. Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow... And it's USA with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. And if they keep training the threes like they've been so far, their lead is safe. We come back right after this. Welcome back to the final quarter of our 2K Sports Broadcast of the FIBA Semifinals. Giddy with the bounce pass. Simmons finds Giddy. Back to Simmons. The dunk and the foul of power. Powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be on MP. And no issues getting up for Simmons. An emphatic two points from the Australian. USA leading by 14. The three from MP. And he's good on the three ball. Nash has got 37. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And, and your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the pin. Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Drives to the hoop, and Simmons slams it in. And not many 6'10 players have the handles that Simmons has. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Hands it from downtown. MP's got 43 points. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line in a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. 
That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Outside, Taylor. And Simmons kicks to Taylor. No good from outside. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for USA. Inside, here's Nash. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists in the game. Here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. And look at the momentum Simmons gets on the drive, and he turns it into a huge slam. So both teams making some changes here. USA leading by 17. There's Nash with the three. Randale grabs the miss. James against Green. Giddy kicks to Green. Pass to Landale. Here's Giddy. There's the three. Doesn't go that time. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. MP way outside. Carries it from three point. Nash has got 48. MP showing you have to stay connected to him the moment he crosses half court. Giddy, no one around him. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Now USA with it. They lead by 20. It's the most we've seen. Nash's shot is in. The floor. You know, there's no doubt he's a legit. Everyone, welcome to this very special game we have for you tonight. We couldn't be more excited about getting this final game of the FIBA tournament underway. Alongside Brent Barry and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. And Brent, it's a North American showdown. The United States versus Canada. A lot of stars out here for both teams. Yeah, I'm not sure Canada quite has the depth that the U.S. team does, but... Man, they got some scary good players on their roster. They can always steal a game. And Greg, it comes down to this. One game, one chance to win it all. I mean, most fans pick the U.S. to win, and they've lived up to the billing so far. But with the pressure so high here in the finals, they'll need to be at their best to earn a championship. And Brent, as we know, FIBA rules allow zone defenses. Well, the fun one for teams that are constructed with space-eating guys in the paint is there's no three seconds in the key. So you can park a big man down there near the rim and really impact how it is the teams approach you on the offensive end. MP with it. Now guarded by Murray. They get the rebound. Brunson. And he banks in the lane. And Frank, the one thing about Canada is that they've had the talent over the years, but they haven't always realized their full potential. I think that's mostly due to the competition, Kevin. FIBA has so many good teams, and it's really tough to go all the way to get the job done and stand on top of that podium. But what I love about watching Canada is that they can beat anyone on any given night, and these young guys believe. USA leading by 10. The three from MP. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. Got to contest MP from out there. He is more than capable from three. Back to Murray. The tray. And it's MP with the rebound. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. 
The Canadian national team, Brent, continues to get better and better over the years. You know, we've seen that talent here in FIBA and across the NBA. Gone are the days of being able to name one or two Canadian basketball players. We certainly did that with hockey, but this time it is stocked full of NBA caliber talent, three level scorers, and a team that can really light you up. This team is exciting. Canada making a switch here. Prosper's checked in, kicks it out to MP. Let's it go with a three. Another three for USA. On the perimeter, MP now so confident. Canada trails by 19. Murray, the pass to Matherin. Murray against Nash. Down low, here's Clark. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. Now USA with it. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. And Greg, perhaps the biggest change from NBA to FIBA rules is goaltender. Yeah, in FIBA, you are allowed to bat a ball that's sitting on the rim. Likewise, you can finish a shot that rests over the cylinder on the offensive end. Wide open look here for Murray. Off target from three-point range. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. On the wing, Matherin. Pass to Prosper. There's the triple. And it's Matherin missing. The USA leading by 23. Out to Nash. Fires the three. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. When it comes to NBA players born outside the United States, Greg Canada has the most all time. Uh, that caught me by surprise. Yeah, for a long time, we've had some serious Canadian talent in the league. And it feels like with each passing year, we get even more great players from north of the border. Back to Murray. Here he goes. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Here's MP. Now, Nemhard. Scoreless thus far. Here's Clark. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after two for six start. 146 left in the first half of basketball. Curry attacking from about 16. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assist. Nash has got assist number five here tonight. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. MP outside. The three. Cranes the three-pointer. MP's got 20. More points for MP, and you just think about the possibilities of this young player moving forward. He is something. Here's Murray. It's hauled in by USA. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. Canada with another miss. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for USA. Only given up two points this quarter. Nemhard grabs the board. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Murray, no good. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Nash outside. Another three for USA. Yet another three. Once we hit the second quarter, it just seems as if those threes just started to fall like raindrops. And so it's MP making things happen for USA. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back.
with the second half underway now, both of these teams find to claim the final victory in this FIBA tournament. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. And, and we saw just how important he is for this team in the first half. He was getting everyone involved. Yeah, he knows. MP, welcome hey. to Jordan Brand. How are we feeling? Man, are you kidding me? Growing up a Bulls fan, this is crazy. You know, you're talking MJ, you're talking sneakers. It's a childhood dream. Oh, man. I know the feeling. I felt the exact same way when I started working here. Oh, you a Chicago guy? <laughs> you know I am. Oh. Toluca. Oh, man, we and played I don't play you guys. I know, yeah. I know, yeah, yeah. We, we didn't do a lot of winning, oh, but it's sorry. great. Listen, it's great to have you here. I, so I mean, good. just, you know, to me, you're the local legend, and it's just like, I could have I could have gone D one as well, yeah. but I you know I had a knee thing and you know really derailed my career. Yeah. So maybe we could have met up in the pros, but here I am working here and Listen, you know you're the. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, custom colorway. Yeah. What an exciting day. Uh, we at Jordan Brand could not be more excited to Same. have you here representing the brand. Same. So thank you. I'm excited, man. Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2 -K Well, here we are, Greg, at the very start of the season, and many teams are still figuring things out. And, Kevin, you, you can't take any of these lineups as final just yet. Coaches might keep trying some new things, tinkering a little bit, and these teams are very much works in progress. And recently, MP came out and stressed that he doesn't take these rivalry games uh, too lightly. Winning these games is a big-time priority for him. And I like the fact that MP set this goal. Not only does it serve to light a fire under his teammates, it also connects him more deeply to the fan because we know how much they care about beating their rival. Here's the starting group for Houston. The post pair form, it'll be Smith and Shengu. Ash is out there with Green, and it's Whitmore in at the three, the small forward. And with that, let's go over to DA with a report on MP. Thanks, Kevin. As you know, MP and his team are coming off a third consecutive NBA championship. I asked him what it felt to accomplish something that players like Michael Jordan and Kobe and Shaq had done. He said, it's an honor. I'm so proud of this group of guys. This one is the sweetest for us so far. MP is humble and hungry. Guys? I've always thought he was humble. You know, he is indeed. And the three-peat, certainly an impressive feat, DA. Thank you. And Clark, the Rockets just one of a handful of franchises to win back-to-back -back NBA titles. Can you believe that, Kevin? It was roughly 30 years ago that the Rockets did that, led by Hakeem Olajuwon, perhaps the best player in the league at that time. Of course, this was... Oh! Yes, sir! Come on, three! Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Yeah, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Without question, a crowd pleaser to the 10th degree. 
The Rockets have gone two or three here to start out the game. Houston moving it around. And so Houston again turning it over. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Pass to Sharp. Back to Henderson. No good on the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Well, I think this is the start they wanted. Come out and put some points up early. Three of four so far. Here's Henderson. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Ash can't get it to go. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. Henderson with another miss. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. And the timeout called here by Billy Donovan. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alteration. Trailblazers is making a switch here. Rockets leading by four. You know, you look at MP, Greg, three consecutive most valuable player awards, something that's only been done before by two others. And those would be Bill Russell and Larry Bird. Pantheon level achievement unlocked by MP. He is on a collision course with greatness. And so in the game for the Rockets, you've got Thompson. Tari Easton is out there with Smith. Then it's MP and it's Shepard in at the two guard. And there is some news coming out of Minnesota. Let's get the update from Shams Chirani about the Timberwolves. Shams? Thanks, Kevin. They see the acquisition of Terry Rozier as a key addition. Oh. 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 Tell you what, MP's game makes you excited about the future of this league. Trailblazers trail by seven. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds to Portland. No returning possession. Now on the floor for your Trailblazers. Number 16, Ajulis Topelas. On the wing, Murray. He's covered by Thompson. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. And it was funny. The road arena didn't bother them at all. I mean, they locked in, focused, and executed and got it done. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys. MP in the last game against the Jazz did some very solid work. He finished with 19 points, and his assertiveness drew a lot of attention from the defense. He drew a good amount of fouls. A great game from him and a very solid start to the year for his team. Kevin? Thanks, David. You know, GA, you wonder how much of that performance can carry over into this one. You never really know what will happen game to game, but I sure wouldn't bet against him. No, you can't bet against a guy like that. He looks like he's in a groove, focused on top of this game. No reason that he can't keep it going. And the three-peat for MP. Greg, the first one in a while. And those Kobe Shaq Lakers, the last team to win three in a row. Doing it all the way back in the early 2000s. Stanley connects from three-point range. Stanley's got six points. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Some more teams changing it up here. It's time now to look at the NBA's top shooting teams from a season ago. The Rockets, number one. They were remarkable in terms of their efficiency on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, they did a great job of finding the open man and working for great looks. Really just an unselfish group. MP, no good. Trailblazers trail by 11. And Sharp has it in the corner. Offline with his three. 
You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And here's Green outside. Good, and the assist goes to Shengun. Shengun's got his third assist on the night. Portland's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Pass to Tabellis. Outside, Avdia. Looking for Aiton. He gets it in there. And Sharp has it in the corner. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Sharp's got his second bucket of the night. Totally unselfish play there from Aiden. Sends the ball to someone with a wide open look. Shengun passes an inch. Stolen by Henderson. 112 left to play here in the half. Oh, Aiden in position. It's stolen. Oh, and here comes Nash all alone. And a chance to watch MP tonight. Fresh off his third MVP award. And last year, he was incredible. I think MP has earned the right to call himself the best player in the league. But you know lots of guys in this league want to knock him off that pedestal. Henderson, no one around him. That three off the mark. Rockets leading by 13. MP going right to the rim. Boy, MP is just filleting this defense. I mean, they've got no answers for him right now. Charity strike shot. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Anderson's got eight points. And he should thank the key for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And here's Nash outside. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. For three, Henderson. Henderson with another miss. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. It looked like that was going to be blocked, but then he pulled the Houdini act and flipped it in for the score. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. MP has been leading the charge for the Rockets. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. We'll get you back to the action after this break. Taking a look at Houston. This team wants to do big things, shack size things. And I got to say, they're looking almost as dominant as Kenny. Easy, big fella. And getting back to our current contest, very impressive first half performance for the Houston Rockets. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column? through two quarters he has been terrific and you know what they've come at him a few different ways defensively and nothing has slowed him down the guard pair are henderson and sharp then there's clean and it's to Bellis in at the four-man position that's the group on the floor for portland wow we are going to remember that one oh, for a while i know i will greg that, that was special that was really special a circus dunk for you right there guys Greg, you know this, good coaches give their players confidence. But what's the balance there between affirmation and accountability? Well, when you believe in a player, that also comes with expectations. So a coach has to boost them up and also demand that they deliver. Rockets leading by 16. Smith finds MP. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his third assist on the night. The desire to win, it, it fuels MP. It, he doesn't let anything get in his way. Back to Henderson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
first. The Trailblazers shooting their fourth and fifth attempt at the free throw line tonight. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. You know, they would love to post a similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. The shot's good for Nash. And for MP, last season culminated in a championship and created his third finals MVP award. And that third finals MVP puts MP among the likes of Magic, Shaq, and Duncan. We're talking about some of the all-time greats, and MP is still looking to build on that legacy. Pass to Sharp. Fires the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Sharp's got eight points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Jalen Green has shown he's capable of carrying a team offensively. He said, it feels good knowing that my teammates believe in me to do that. I've had to learn a lot of things to grow, but that's what I work for. I want to be one of those guys that you give the ball to in front. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. They've got Tari Eason. Shepard out there with MP. Then... And there's a man Thompson. And it's Sims in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight's...